Okay, so we're doing the same thing as yesterday, but we're given different <coughs> starting and finishing. So today our lines are parallel, and we're going to figure out how far away they are from each other. But it's the same idea. So, these are our two equations, right? How do I know they're parallel? Same, same slope. Let's just graph them just for a visual. Okay. They're far away. They're far away? Let's see if you're right. We'll see if you're right. Jack, is there any in there? I had a B, a J, a B. Hey, Zach, I was specifically talking to you because you were gone. So, no, you gotta listen. Oh, right now, I just want everyone to know. intercept of this line? Zero what? Zero. Two. So that's what I write. So our point is zero two. So that was step one, was finding our point. We're going to call it P. So now it says step two, write the equation of a line that is perpendicular and goes through our point so here is point P, 0, 2, and I want to be perpendicular to this line. So what would my slope have to be? The same. No. Not the same. Negative 2, right? And our point P is 2, 0, or excuse me, 0, 2. So yesterday we had the luxury of we could just count, right? I went down to over one. But what's wrong today? Is it a nice point? No. So we have to actually figure out what it is. Not a big deal. So let's first write our equation of our line using this information. So y minus 2. Perfect. Then I'm going to distribute it. Negative two x plus two, everyone. That was good. So that's our equation of this little green segment line. Is everyone with me? Do you all know what's going on with me? Not really. Not really. Okay. Just keep following along. Um, step three, it says find the intersection of this new line that we found and the blue one. So I need to find out where they touch right there. So if I look, that green line's this guy, and that blue one's this one, and it's y equals and y equals. So what can I set equal to each other? Yeah, we're just going to substitute, right? We can do that. So I need to figure out where this line 
and this line touch. So since they're both y equals, I can put them equal to each other. So I'm going to have negative 2x plus 2 equal to half x minus 2. This is step 3. Right now we're finding the intersection. What was step 2? Step 2. No, there's a step 1 on the board. There is? That's Step that's one. Far, that is, that is okay, so I'm. Um, I just have a little. Our says find the distance, and yours says step one. Yeah, I just have my equations above that. So our step one is find a point. So your point to be zero, two, on step one. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, that's not what we're supposed to do. So. Yep, so step one should just be this point. That's all you need to write for step one. Yeah. Uh, step, 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 step two, you should be writing your <laughs> equation. Got it. Step one, writing equation. Because it says step two. Step three, which is our step two. Jack. No. Jack. Just move everything you have down one. Just cross off the steps. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. No stacks. I just want you to That's easier. Okay, you need to find x. You gotta bring your x's to one side and your numbers to the other. Go. Figure out what x is. Today we will not get really nice numbers from we were getting yesterday, unfortunately. Get 1.6-ish. Minus a half, so I get negative 2.5. Minus 2, minus so I'm at negative two, so I'm going more negative. Okay, how are we going to find our y? Yep, you got to plug x in for either this guy or this guy. I'm plugging in for this guy. Hey boys in the middle, what are we doing right now? No, but what specifically am I doing right now? Thanks, Louis. You guys get negative one point two. So then our ordered pair for Q would be one point six, negative one point two. So that would be still step three. That's step three. You have to find ordered pair. Yeah. Friday. Oh. Well, I'm not going to be here on Friday. I take it Thursday then. Have a long break. Okay, and you can kind of check yourself. If I look right here, does it look like I'm about 1.6 over and about 1.2 down? Eyeballing it? I know. That's kind of like 2. 2 and 2 would be right here. So I think we're, we're pretty close. Okay, how do you find the distance between two points? Uh, distance, formula. Formula. distance formula. 
So our first point from step one, zero, two, and then our new point we just found. So if we look, is it less than four? But that's a pretty good guess. Three point six. Okay, we're gonna do another one on our desk before we start our homework. Wow. 